So now we need to work on this table. So I have created this table. It's very simple. Table, and then I give it, I give that table a two classes table, hover and table, and then we have the head, T head, and T body. The T head must dis display the uh, columns. So what are the columns that we have? The columns are the department name, the appointment ID, the department ID, the appointment date, and the status, taken or not. So we need to display these. Uh, as col uh, as columns, so I'm gonna say here ID, and then the second thing is department name. I'm gonna say here department name name, and then the third thing is department ID. Department ID is not important to the user; it's not important, but for us, it's important. So I'm not gonna display the department uh, department ID. Instead, I'm going to display the department uh, date, which is very, very important, of course, and the taken. So we need to display the department date here. Department date. And the status, or, or taken or not. Let's say taken. Taken or status. And now, instead of displaying this, we need to loop over the appointments, because we have, remember, we have appointments here we have appointments and this is an array so we need to say here we need to say for each for each for each a point a point ments as appointment appointment and then we need to display the appointments and here at the end we need to say at end for for each so in between we need to display the department name first here the ID I'm gonna say here uh, department double curly braces and then department uh, department uh, ID and then double curly braces. Let me copy this. And then let me paste it here. Department, the second thing is debar department. Department. Uh, actually, this is, yes, this is the, the department ID. Um, uh, actually, this, is, this should be the, the appointment, not the, not the department. So this should be appointment ID and then appointment appointment and then department ID uh, and actually I, I'm not going to display the department ID I should display the department name so again the first column is the appointment ID this is the ID and then the department name here appointment department name and then here here it should be it should be dollar sign and then the part uh, appointment and then the de department date department date and finally the taken so the taken taken here is boolean so it's going to be zero or uh, zero or one therefore we need to use uh, we need to use uh, if statement in order to check whether whether the user will be able to book it or not so i'm going to say here at if and then i'm going to check here i'm going to say if if appointment if appointment taken if taken then we need to display something else here else we need to display another thing and finally we need to say at and if so if the appointment is taken I'm gonna say the appointment is taken I'm gonna say you cannot you can't can't book this and if it's not taken then we need to we need to display a button in order to in order to let the user uh, book this so I'm gonna create here a form and then form and then I'm gonna display a button here I'm gonna say input and then type submit and the value is going to be book 
and the class is going to be btn btn primary and um, and this should be should be inside td so i'm going to say here td and at the end i'm going to say td and uh, that's it let me push this and uh, now what we need to do is that we need to um, here in the index we need before we test we need to add this code we need here to say uh, at csrf what is this this is a code that's going to protect the form from hackers this is very very important you need to add this otherwise it's not gonna work and uh, finally we need to check the code one more time so the view here that's uh, this is fine nothing is wrong here the appointment so we have everything so let's test so I'm gonna click on file and then save all and let me go back and refresh now and let me click on show appointments so if I click on show appointments as you can see I'm gonna get here the appointment ID, the department name, the department the department date, and the taken. So we have a problem with the department date. Okay, it's empty. The reason is because this actually should be uh, appointment date, not department date. There is no. I have here a problem. It should be appointment date, not a a, a, a appointment department date. Of course, the department should not have a date. So this is just a a point this is just a mistake because because we have so many information and we uh, as develop developers we usually make these very simple mistakes so let me refresh one more time and as you can see I'm gonna get here the department the appointment uh, here again I need to fix this here should be appointment appointment date not department let me refresh again and as you can see here it's going to say uh, appointment date and department date and uh, taken if it's taken or not and it looks amazing actually it looks the table here looks amazing and you can add at the top you can add here uh, h1 or h2 and then you can give it a class text center margin top 2 and here say point mids. and uh, here it should look amazing as you can see it's gonna look like, like this let me add margin bottom margin bottom 2 and let me also change the font I'm gonna say style font family family let's check let's select this one for example and uh, let's also add font color color I'm gonna change the color to anything else let me select this color and let me refresh and uh, as you can see it looks amazing and uh, you can play around with this and it just looks very very good